This is MX KDI here, another video. This is for the uh, upgrading the memory in the video core on uh, HP Pavilion H81234 mini tower. So, what you're gonna do is you need a video card, here's a memory, DDR3 1600, and you need a either flathead screwdriver or Torx T15 screwdriver actually. So, let me go ahead and remove the video card memory, remove the side panel. This is gonna be screw right here, remove that. Now, here's the memory right here. We're gonna remove that it's DDR3. Upgrade the memory to 16. Eight gig per each slot. DDR3 1330. Uh, we're gonna install DDR3 1600. So it's 8 gig per each slot, it's a non ECC and buffer memory. If you install the ECC it won't work, only non ECC and buffer memory will work only. Okay, now I'm going to upgrade the video card. So you need a Torx T15 screwdriver. Or you can use a flathead either way. It's gonna be right here. This is gonna be a piece of bracket right here, the secure lock for it. Remove that with the screw with the Torx 15 screwdriver or flathead if you have. Right there. Now remove the video card. There's gonna be a clip right here, secure lock, you gotta press it down gently to release the, the video card right here for the PCI Express X16 slot right here. There's a little clip right here, you press it down to release it. Secure lock, so remove the video card. Now, I'm gonna install the video card. EVGA G4 GT GX660, just for the dual monitor I need. So, let's go install it. I'm gonna go behind it. Connect the six pin power for the video card and upgrade the power supply. It's a 500 watt cooler master right here. I did a separate video, you guys keep watching it for the hard drive upgrade and the power supply. It's a 500 watt cooler master. And you're gonna connect the six pin right here for the power for the video card. Now install the PCI bracket secure lock right here, the back side. This holds the PCI slots. Install that. So that's gonna be it, guys. All you're gonna do is go to the website, uh, video, the EVGA or NVIDIA.com, and right here and get the latest drivers for the video card. Install the driver, restart the computer. So, and uh, so the guys, this can be it. This is we upgrade the memory from 8 gigs. To 16 gigs dual channel DDR3 1600 and we upgrade the video card PCI Ex Express X16 slot. This is a GTX 660. And uh, so, the guys, thanks for watching. Bye.